to go someday. <clears throat> hey, hey guys, professional baseball player Richard Riley's here. Today, I'm going to be testing and seeing if uh, a potato works just as good as a baseball by using a metal beam. Now, this experiment won't work properly because I can't find a baseball bat around here anywhere. I'm gonna be, I don't know, flinging some potatoes into this hedge. I, I don't know. You know, feed, feed, the, feed the wildlife. All right, so today we're going to, uh, the, I have only three potatoes. I'm, I'm broke. Oh, so, yeah. We'll, we'll start with this one, okay? There's different sizes. We got small, medium, and big. Yeah. Did y'all see that or? Hang on, let me move this camera. Oh. Oh. Fuck me. Why is it so hard to hit a potato? I lost it. If you ever want to cut a potato in half, you gotta do it like this. You got an edible potato, the feed to the wildlife. Fuck out of here. Now this one, we got big boy here. We got, um, I don't know. A dildo size potato here and I'm about to uh, chuck it into the to the and we'll see uh, we'll see how, how uh, good at baseball I am why do they explode the first one was so easy okay that didn't do what I wanted to do I wanted it to be dramatic and you know just whoop, to the to the bush but that that no apparently filming is just Gone, gone wrong to me. I ran into a spider web, and uh, yeah. Can you all see me? Am I looking good? Oh, oh. oh. now I, I just got potato juice on me. Ugh. I now smell like dirt. Just for your entertainment. For kids, be safe out there. If you don't have a baseball, just uh, just grab your mother's potatoes and fling them into your your neighbor's bush. To be honest, I'm, uh, this, yeah, I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> you know, honestly, I, 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 I could uh, drink a bud and Ah, fuck me, you be. <laughs> you gotta be on your knee. I have a sip. Hey guys, Dutch Vine Luke here. Uh, today I'm a a movie CGI critic, and if you thought as white as I am, uh, I gotten even more whiter because now I became a critic. Now, you, now when you think of a critic, you're thinking, oh, a food critic, right? So today I want to talk and kind of kind of illustrate the point that uh, nerds that are completely against CGI in movies and love watching like love stories or cartoons, I don't know, is that they have a very big bubble against CGI in films because we all know that CGI in films are getting a lot more too realer, if you know what I mean. Like uh, take a look at uh, all the Star Wars movies, right? The prequels, right? They're all right but they were kind of obnoxious with the whole CGI thing. All of the Marvel movies, right? CGI. All of the Michael Bay movies, CGI. You kind of get my point here? See, it's it, it, there's nothing different, okay? CGI is going to exist, and there's nothing you could do about it, okay? Yeah, it's just, it's just a big mess with all these 
uh, people who complain about it. I'm I'm not a big fan of Michael Bay specifically because he made like the the, the ten thousandth Transformer, and we all know they're the same movie each time. He's just making bank with all of his explosions and his giant walking cars. Michael Bay is making bank, and what are you doing? Michael Bay makes bank just by putting in some explosions, some unnecessary. Yeah, mostly unnecessary explosions, but you get my point here, okay? CGI is its own thing, okay? So you got movies and CGI. They're both separated, but when you combine them, uh, yeah. It's history at this point, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Dejvine Luke, and I'm trying to find something to do with my life. I'm gonna go pay my respects to the Andyverse gods, and I'm going to... Anyways, guys, I'll see you all very soon. I love you. Hey, guys, uh, Divine Luke here. Today, I'm a businessman, and yeah. This is episode of Bad Contents brought to you by Bud Light. Ah. Today, we're going to be playing Would You Rather, and I'm not really too thrilled about this because. Uh, I already know this is just going to be bad in general. It's kind of, it's a little bit like my uh, daily dose of Down Syndrome, but a little bit more Down Syndrome-y. Speaking of Down Syndrome, this light is just bad. America's fun. I'm a bit drunk. Have to get around on all fours all the time or only make animal noises. I'd rather make animal noises because getting around uh, on all fours sucks. Burp loudly every 30 seconds, or fart every 5 minutes. Man, I mean, if you burp loudly every 30 seconds, the chances of you kissing a girl would would, would never happen, okay? But you farting every 5 minutes, that, that's way more convenient because, well, first of all, during sex? Uh, sh she'll smell it, but, I mean, sh she'll, yeah. I mean, how long does sex even last? I mean, it depends, right? Have all your limbs cut off with a butter knife. Go to every WNBA for the rest of your life. Hey, women's sports are awesome, okay? I watch women's sports, and let me tell you, they're better than men. And and don't call me that uh, feminist guy that thinks women are better. Because women's sports is actually really good if you watch it, okay? It's, it's not bad at all, okay? It's just women, strong women. Ugh. Man, I'm not a real businessman if my tie keeps falling off. Have triplets or be a triplet. You know, having uh, three twins sucks. Okay, having two already sucks. Be a heavy smoker or be a heavy drinker. Look, bitch, I'm already a heavy drinker. KFC for a month or Taco Bell for a month? Man, I love KFC. You ever had their, their gravy, their... The macaroni and cheese, you know? Man, they have good stuff. I love southern food. Mexican food doesn't do well for me. What do you talk about? I end up on the toilet for like three hours, so, yeah. Alright. Be invisible or be invincible? Being invincible would, would possibly mean that you would never be killed by the military. Which would kind of suck, but you'd probably end up being the president with no bodyguard because you're invincible, so if you get sniped, then, uh, then you won't die, basically. But if you're invisible, then, uh, you can rob literally every store, banks, jewelry stores possible, because no one ain't gonna see your ass unless if you're carrying three heavy bags and that gives away your position. Three floating bags. Mm -mm -mm. Sir, what happened? Uh, some crazy lunatic came in, and apparently his body style was three bags of jewelry. Oh my god. I gotta go CNN. Angelina Jolie or Jennifer Aniston. You know, both of them are okay, alright? But I don't think I wanna pick. I only... You know, I do things for views, but... Man, I don't... Have a mansion miles away from civilization or have a house in the city. That one's really stupid. Let me just say that for the record, because... Stop drinking this. Anyways, if I had a mansion miles from civilization. I'd be so happy. You have no idea. 
having a house in the city, I would, uh, well, first of all, man, living in the city sucks because A, people, cars, cops, uh, gunshots, and, well, protesters, okay, they're always flooding up my streets. But yeah, living out away from civilization is perfect, okay? If you are just getting ready to get kicked out of your house by your parents, uh, you might as well get a lot of money to go move out of civilization, okay? Little, little tip from Divine Loot, okay? Take three shots of dirty bong water, or take three shots of tobacco spit. Oh, fuck. Okay. This one's pretty confusing because, first of all, I don't do drugs. Second of all, dirty bong water's nasty and all, but tobacco spit is just, ugh, why? Tobacco spit's nasty. You literally have to have someone spit in a shot glass in order to sustain drinking. Yeah, I don't want to know that someone spit in this, okay? So I'm going to have to go with dirty bong water. Burp confetti or fart glitter? Man, farting glitter would hurt so bad. But, man, if I burp confetti, then I can just go, <clears throat> You're celebrating something, but if I fart glitter, that shit sparkles. Have an iPhone or an iPad? All right, I don't need an iPad because iPhones nowadays are getting bigger. Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? I don't watch none of those. See the film or read the book? I don't get why people read the books. Like, dude, you could just watch the film. It, it at least saves like 24 hours of your time, okay? All you have to do is watch two hours of a story that's in the book, so yeah. Work at Mickey D's or work at Burger King. They're kind of the same thing. I mean, they both have shit. You told me to come inside. And I told you that we I can't come inside. No, no. Take me on a trip. I'd like to go someday. Take me to New York. I'd love to see LA. I